Good evening, everyone, and welcome again to this Bible lesson we're going to get into today. And every day is a lesson, and it's always something good. It comes out of the Word of God, and it's the only truth we have. We can stand on it. We can take it to the bank or whatever, and it'll always be good, exactly, and it will stand forever. And it is, and it is the Lord Jesus Christ, and He is the Living Word, from beginning to the end. Whether the people like to hear it or not, He very much is alive, and He is the Living Word. And therefore, if we deny the Word of any kind that's in, that's in this Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we're denying Him. Before, because it is the, he is the living word. Now we'll be speaking to you this evening from third chapter of First Corinthians, the King James Version Bible. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, uh, it's again we come to you, Lord, one more time, Lord, uh, to thank you for another day. Uh, and thank you for the word that you led us to today. Uh, and I pray, oh Lord, uh, you anoint, you lift the clay, Lord, uh, and give us wisdom to speak your word with understanding, uh, that we all grow uh, in the knowledge of you, Lord, uh, and how much we need you, uh, and how much we need to be faithful. Uh, I do study your word uh, and apply our hearts to it uh, and know uh, and follow it and listen uh, uh, to its instructions uh, because it will lead us all the way home, Lord, uh, to where you are uh, and it, it will wash uh, and make clean uh, and make whole uh, if people will accept uh, uh, your word. Uh, and Lord, I pray today also uh, uh, for every listener of this video uh, uh, that you uh, will bless them beyond our dreams, uh, our expectation in life, uh, and I pray uh, that you will fill their heart uh, with your Holy Spirit, uh, that they will feel you, uh, uh, that spirit uh, running avenues uh, of their soul and body, uh, even a bloodstream uh, that flows uh, uh, through the body uh, like little rivers, uh, but the return to the heart, uh, which is the pump, uh, uh, keeps it circulating uh, uh, like, like they should go. Uh, way the blood should flow, uh, my and I, Lord, uh, I pray, Lord, uh, you let your spirit uh, uh, flow through us, uh, that we may feel uh, uh, your presence, uh, and I always already do, Lord, uh, I know you with us, uh, and you guide us, uh, if we'll follow you uh, and your word, uh, now, Lord, I pray, uh, also, you anoint your word again, uh, although you anointed it, uh, I pray you anoint it again, uh, that no one can resist uh, uh, hearing your word uh, and seeing what you have to say. Uh, and I pray it draws us all closer to you. In Jesus' wonderful name, uh, we pray. Uh, amen. And thank you, Father, one more time for your love and your mercy. Now today we're going to be talking about a foundation. And my friend, today when we build a house, no matter how good it is, we have to have a good foundation or it will not stand. But also, the years, even though man makes a foundation, the years will work on that foundation, and it will show every weak spot in the foundation. And not only go, then it goes from a foundation throughout the house, and makes a great change in the house. At one time it will be level. Another time it'll be off just a little bit, little by little. It'll gradually decay. But my friend, there's another building that we can build that will stand forever. Another foundation that will stand forever. And that is the foundation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now we're going to read, begin reading the third chapter, King James Version, 1 Corinthians, verse number 1. And my friends, if you have your Bible handy, or you read along with me, if not, you can read along with me later. 
because it's very, very important scriptures, and I have spoke on it a few times in churches, but listen what it says today. And I also mentioned in churches before I read, many churches have closed, been closed for a good while because of this virus. That's going around, but I never close the doors to this church. Yes, I said this church. Because God, God saved people that are born again make up the church. Therefore, every listener of this video to this word is part of the church. We are the church. My friend, whether people like it or not. But that, that's what it is. Now we begin to read. Chapter 3, verse number 1. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. My friend, there's still plenty today that not, are not able to bear the strong meat because they absolutely have not grown in the word of the Lord. And uh, my friend, to that, they can get beyond the milk. Now you can take a child when it's born up to so many years, they got to have that milk. You take the milk away from them and they'll starve. But when they get old enough, where they begin to eat, you you receive you fail to feed them the meat, meat uh, other foods and solid, then again they will starve, because they only be getting part of what they need. But he said too right here again, I have fed you with milk, and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bury it. Neither yet now are ye able, because they had not grown up, and they were still babes in Christ. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? Think about what a question he asked us in this verse of Scripture. And my friend, we ought to examine ourselves every time that we read this scripture and ask ourselves, where do we stand with the Lord? And ask the Lord to help us stand a little bit closer and stronger on that solid foundation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 5, who, who then is Paul and who is Apollos? Now I may miss chapter verse 4. Go back verse 4. For one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos. Uh, are ye not carnal? Uh, uh, yes, we are. Uh, uh, in other words, it's worldly. Uh, now go back on. Uh, who then is Paul, and who is Apollos? Uh, but minister by whom ye believed, uh, even as the Lord gave to every man. Uh, my friend, he's giver every man. Uh, a woman and a child. Uh, a way uh, uh, to come to him. Uh, he gave them an opportunity uh, uh, to believe him uh, and follow his word. Uh, but my friend today, uh, uh, many have heard the word, uh, but they have chosen uh, to go other way uh, because their deeds were evil uh, and they love the pleasure of the world uh, more than they love God. Uh, and many of them, my friend, uh, are still bait. Uh, they have never grown. Uh, they may have been saved, uh, but they've never grown. Uh, my my friend, uh, that's why the many can't bear uh, the strong meat uh, of the word today, uh, because they have not grown up uh, and got strong enough uh, that they can have the meat. Uh, therefore, many are still on the milk. Uh, the milk is uh, uh, patting them on the back uh, and tell them everything is easy, uh, everything is just hunk hunkadory. Uh, now, my the live, uh, go ahead and do what they please. Uh, they're still all right. Uh, my friend, that's adding. Uh, 
uh, a little bit sugar uh, uh, to the word, uh, but we believe uh, and speak in the word uh, just exactly like it's written, uh, and I'll add to it or take away, uh, but as it is written, uh, as the Lord spoke it, uh, and the prophets and disciples of old, uh, they wrote it uh, as it were moved on uh, uh, by the Holy Ghost, uh, uh, giving them uh, uh, what to read, uh, and therefore uh, we must stand upon the word, uh, which is uh, the foundation uh, that we must stand on. Uh. Now I have planted, verse 6, I, I have planted, uh, Apollos watered, uh, but God gave the increase, uh, so then neither is he uh, that planteth any, anything, uh, neither he that watereth, uh, but God that giveth the increase. Uh, my friend today, uh, all we can do uh, is plant the seed uh, and leave the rest up to the Lord, uh, because the Lord, uh, he gives the increase uh, uh, to the seed uh, that we planted. Uh, he makes it grow, my friend. Uh, uh, he makes it grow. Uh, and if they refuse the word, uh, uh, they also, uh, they will wither uh, because they're not getting uh, the right food uh, they need for their soul. Uh, and that is the word of God uh, and the Holy Spirit uh, uh, dwelling within them, uh, my friend, today. Uh, if we know uh, we've been saved by the grace of God, uh, let's give him glory. Uh, let's give him honor. Uh, and let's Give, give him some, give him some praise, uh, uh, because uh, he is worthy of all praise. Uh, and some uh, I don't believe. Uh, and lifting hands, uh, my friend, when we lift hands uh, uh, to the Lord, uh, we're we're saying to him, we surrender uh, all to you, uh, my friend, and yield uh, ourselves to you. Uh, but my friend, uh, there's nothing wrong. Uh, uh, lifting our hands uh, and giving the Lord praise uh, and reaching it uh, up to him. Uh, and he reached down to us uh, and we're surrendering uh, our heart and life to him uh, who can lead us uh, and guide us better than he uh, there is no one uh, on this earth my friend uh, can lead us better uh, than the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and he can, can uh, and he will uh, lead us all the way home uh, uh, one day after a while uh, he'll go with us uh, through this world uh, and its troubles and trials uh, and lead us all the way home uh, and present us safe uh, before the Father uh, uh, one day after a while uh, my friend, my friend uh, that's why I say uh, we need to give him glory and praise uh, if we know we've been saved uh, and if we know uh, uh, we're on our way home, uh, uh, glory to uh, his wonderful and precious name uh, verse number 9 uh, for we are uh, laborers to get I almost got, got a pipe myself again. Uh, now he that planteth uh, and he that waters are one, uh, and every man shall receive uh, his own reward uh, according to his own labor. Uh, for we are laborers together uh, uh, with God. Uh, ye are God's husbandry. Uh, ye are God's building uh, according to the grace of God, uh, which given is given unto me uh, as a wise master builder. Uh, I have laid the foundation uh, and and another uh, buildeth thereon. Uh, but let every man take heed uh, how he buildeth uh, uh, thereupon. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, let this word sink in uh, to our hearts and lives. Uh, uh, what is it saying to you uh, in his verse number 10? Uh, but I'm going to read 8, 9, and 10 again. Uh, because, my friend, uh, I don't want to miss a thing. Uh, uh, what he's telling us, uh, how we must stand uh, on that good foundation foundation, uh, a solid foundation, verse 9 again, uh, for we are laborers together uh, with God, uh, ye are God's husbandry, uh, we are, ye are God's building, uh, according to the grace of God, uh, which is given unto me, uh, as a wise master builder, uh, I have laid the foundation, uh, and another buildeth thereon, uh, but let every man take heed, uh, how he build uh, uh, thereupon, uh, my friend, uh, we cannot build upon uh, the foundation of the world, uh, and it is 
is a sand, uh, because it would decay, uh, it would mar uh, and sink in. Uh, but my friend, uh, we build upon the foundation uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, that it's going to stand forever, uh, and nothing can make it mar uh, or, or sink, uh, I give away, uh, because it will stand forever, uh, and also will this word stand forever, uh, because it's settled in it forever uh, in heaven, uh, to stand exactly like he spoke it. Uh, and my friend, uh, this is the gospel. Uh, we need to be preaching and teaching to the lost uh, and dying world uh, that we may see sons and daughters uh, uh, born in the kingdom uh, and that we also uh, may see, help people uh, uh, come back to him uh, straight away from him uh, and remind the people uh, that have confessed Christ uh, that we all need to stand on the same foundation uh, that the Lord Jesus Christ uh, that Paul laid. Uh, that's why he said, uh, according to the grace uh, of God which is given unto me uh, as a wise master builder uh, I have laid the foundation uh, and another buildeth thereon uh, but let every man uh, take heed how uh, he buildeth thereupon uh, for other foundation uh, can no man lay uh, than that is laid uh, which is Jesus Christ uh, my friend there's no other foundation uh, my friend uh, that will stand forever uh, except the Lord Lord, uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, now, verse 12. Uh, now, if a man build uh, upon this foundation uh, gold and silver, uh, uh, precious stones and wood, hay, stubble, uh, every man's work shall uh, be manifest uh, or proven. Uh, for the day uh, shall declare it, uh, because it shall be revealed uh, by fire, uh, and the fire shall try every man's work uh, of what sort it is. Uh, my friend, uh, we can't say we're better than anyone else. Uh, we can't, we don't have the right uh, to stand up before a congregation uh, and make come across to them uh, like we're better uh, uh, than the rest of them or any of them uh, in the congregation uh, because a person has a little bit more money than the other does, uh, uh, more wealth. Uh, they're not to look down uh, on those that have less uh, than they do, uh, if they do, uh, because they are building up on their own foundation, uh, and not up on the Word of God, uh, uh, the foundation uh, that's already been laid, uh, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, uh, my friend. Uh, so therefore, my friend, uh, let us be careful uh, to what we hear and what we listen to, uh, my my friend, uh, because everybody uh, ain't built upon uh, a solid foundation. Uh, and my friend, my friend, uh, if they're not built uh, on a solid foundation, uh, they're going to be throwing words in there uh, that will not correspond uh, with God's Word. Uh, my friend, uh, what we speak, uh, better unite with God's Word uh, and back it up. Uh, and the Word back up what we say uh, or it is uh, an all of God. Uh, and we are be failing uh, to build upon uh, that good and true uh, a solid foundation. Uh, now, verse 14, uh, if any man's work, uh, a bad which he had built it, uh, uh, built thereon, uh, he shall receive uh, a reward. Uh, if any man's work, uh, many man's work shall be burned, uh, he shall suffer loss, uh, but he himself uh, shall be saved. Uh, yet so as by far, uh, my friend, it is barely well. Uh, I make it through. Uh, my friend, I've heard people say, uh, if it is got, uh, got there, uh, by the skin of the teeth, uh, they be satisfied. Uh, but I tell you, my friend, uh, I want to go uh, all the way inside uh, to the center court uh, where uh, uh, Jesus is. Uh, I sitting on the throne. Uh, I want to be all the way in. Uh, uh, when he called me home, uh, my friend, uh, I want to bow at his feet uh, and praise him forevermore. Uh, right there at his feet, uh, uh, where he sits on the throne. Uh, uh, and, and and, and, and on the right hand uh, of God the Father, uh, I make an intercession for you and I, uh, my friend. Uh, so let us strive uh, to enter in there uh, so that we can uh, uh, receive uh, a good reward, uh, the reward of eternal life, uh, to live and dwell uh, with him forevermore uh, in that holy city uh, at New Jerusalem. Uh, at John saw coming down uh, on Mount Zion, uh, the pl place God loves. Uh, 
uh, that Jesus loves uh, my friend, my friend. Uh, but before we can get there, uh, we've got to be saved uh, and we've got to build uh, on a true foundation. Uh, the day we get saved, uh, my friend, uh, are the first stone is laid uh, on that uh, a good foundation uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and the Lord Jesus Christ uh, is a chief cornerstone uh, that we must build upon. Uh, therefore, uh, we become other stones uh, added to that. Uh, and my friend, uh, if it is according to the grace of God uh, and God's will, uh, then we'll be joined together uh, on that everlasting foundation uh, that will never mar or decay, uh, but will stand forever uh, and present us safely. Uh, uh, Father, uh, one day after a while, uh, a city called heaven uh, where God, uh, where the Lord went to prepare uh, a place for us a long time ago uh, when he returned to the Father uh, after his resurrection uh, and his crucifixion. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, give him praise and give him honor uh, and give him glory uh, and don't be ashamed uh, to confess him uh, before the lost and dying world. Uh, if they run us off, uh, don't be ashamed uh, to confess the Lord uh, because it's the Lord that died for us. Uh, we didn't die for him. Uh, he made it possible, my friend, uh, through his great love uh, and what he gave uh, on the cross uh, that we could be saved uh, and forgave us of our sins. Uh, therefore, we got much uh, to praise him for uh, and glorify him for uh, and just think what uh, he has trusted us with uh, when he trusted us with uh, his holy word uh, to deliver to others uh, in the truth as it is written. Uh, and I'll put her own words in, uh, not add to or take away, uh, but his words, uh, my friend, that he gave us uh, instruction to declare uh, to the lost generation, uh, to the lost and undying world, uh, my friend, uh, that we can help pull uh, those out of fire uh, that uh, are lost and going down uh, uh, to the devil's hell uh, without hope, uh, because he will not turn to God, uh, and my friend, uh, we are to teach them this word uh, and it's word only uh, that they can be drawn uh, uh, to the Lord Jesus uh, and that they can be saved uh, and have a heavenly home uh, with the redeemed ones uh, one day after a while uh, uh, when he calls us home uh, to the great marriage supper uh, of the Lamb uh, yes one day we're going to be I uh, uh, sat down uh, and eat with the Lamb uh, my friend uh, when he serves us uh, uh, my friend my friend uh, what was wonderful scripture that is, uh, what wonderful promises he's made uh, to those that love him, uh, to those that have been saved. Uh, now back into the word, uh, just a little few more verses. Know ye not, uh, know ye not, uh, that ye are the temple uh, of God, uh, and that the Spirit of God uh, uh, dwelleth in you. Uh, if in any man uh, defile the temple of God, uh, him shall God destroy, uh, for the temple of God is holy, uh, which temple ye are, uh, my friend, my friend. Uh, again, it tells us uh, to walk worthy uh, in a vocation we are called, uh, walk in the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and walk Walk in Him uh, and let Him lead us uh, and guide us along uh, this pilgrim journey uh, that we're on uh, as we press along uh, uh, towards that prayer uh, that prize, prize and high calling of God uh, in Christ Jesus. Uh, you hear me speak up often, uh, but my friend, my friend, uh, don't be afraid uh, to press on that way uh, because He'll hold our hand uh, and He will lead us on uh, uh, through the trouble and unbelief. Uh, it's all around us uh, and the greed and hate. Uh, he'll lead us safely on uh, and one day uh, after a while we'll rejoice with Him uh, in a holy, holy temple uh, uh, heaven itself uh, and join the loved ones uh, that are waiting for our coming uh, and the angels that are already there uh, that are giving him praise uh, and glory uh. Verse 18, uh, let no man deceive himself. Uh, if any man, uh, man 
among you seem not to be wise uh, in this world. Uh, let him become a fool uh, that he may be wise. Uh, my friend, let people call uh, us anything you want to, uh, but turn leave the world alone. Uh, I know we have to live in it uh, to he calls us away. Uh, but my friend, we although uh, we're living in it, uh, we're not part of it. Uh, because we, when we get God saved, uh, we become part of him. Uh, uh, my friend, uh, and all of the world. Uh, so therefore, my friends, uh, let us not turn back to the world uh, after we have tasted uh, the Lord is gracious, uh, after we have been saved, uh, and know we are, uh, and redeemed, uh, and we were redeemed by his precious blood uh, that he shed on the cross of Calvary. Uh, my friend, uh, when he freely hung there, uh, and when he could have called ten uh, a thousand angels, uh, they would have came and set him free, uh, and took him down uh, from that old rugged cross, uh, but he chose to die there, uh, and stay there and die, uh, because he loved you and I, uh, and wanted us to be uh, within he with him in heaven uh, uh, someday. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, I think of what love uh, he had for us, uh, and still has for us today, uh, that he's still pleading with us, uh, and still pleading with those uh, that are lost, uh, and to those that's gone astray, uh, that they come back to him, uh, and those in the church uh, to make sure they're right uh, and they're on the right road uh, my friend uh Verse nine, verse nineteen. Uh, for the wisdom of this world uh, is foolishness with God. Uh, for it is written, uh, He taketh the wise in their own craftsness. Uh, my friend, today uh, many are destroying them own selves. Uh, but what they get into uh, and what they do, uh, and a lot of it because of great inventions uh, they come up with uh, to get rich uh, that defiles the law of God. Uh, it defiles God's mercy. Uh, my friend. Uh, and they'll love the world uh, because what it does for them. Uh, but my friend, uh, one day uh, they gonna regret it. Uh, now let me read this again. Uh, for the wisdom of this world uh, is foolishness with God. Uh, for it is written, uh, He taketh the wise in their own craftsness. Uh, and again, the Lord knoweth uh, the thought of the wise. Uh, that they are vain. Uh, those that think they know all uh, and know everything, uh, he said their thoughts are vain. Uh, that's what he said. Uh, that's not my word. Uh, I'm going to read it again. Uh, verse 20, and again, uh, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, uh, that they are vain. Uh, therefore, uh, let no man glory in men, uh, for all things are yours. Uh, what are you talking about? All things are yours, uh, everything uh, that's in the hands of God, uh, all his blessings uh, that he has for us uh, is ours, uh, if we we'll hold on to him, uh, if we really truly uh, have been saved, uh, and we want Walk with him uh, and do our best uh, to do what he called us to do, uh, and that's get this gospel uh, out to the lost and dying world. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, my friend, that's worth uh, will be worth it all uh, if we lead one soul. Uh, I do him to be saved, uh, or get one to come back to him uh, and walk on the road it's right uh, that we can be uh, a witness together uh, on the battlefield uh, uh, for the Lord uh, to see sons and daughters born in the kingdom uh, as we labor uh, in his vineyard. Uh, it's going to be worth it all, uh, my friend. Uh, verse 22, uh, whether Paul or Apollos uh, or Cephas uh, or the world, uh, Word, uh, world, our life, uh, our death, our, th our things present, uh, our things to come, uh, all are yours, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, and ye uh, are Christ, uh, and Christ is God's, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, if we got the Lord, uh, uh, Jesus Christ in our heart tonight, uh, and this evening, uh, and if we know we're ready to go, uh, I pray that uh, uh, we'll give God uh, more glory glory uh, and honor and praise uh, than we've been giving him uh, because my friend uh, we can never give him enough uh, because it's him uh, by his grace and his love uh, and his mercy uh, that heaven will be our home uh, one day after a while uh, my friend my friend uh, thank him and praise him uh, and give glory to his name uh, because he is worthy uh, of all praise uh, and let's not never forget uh, to be a 
praying for our children uh, and our lost loved ones, uh, whoever they may be, uh, wherever they are, uh, that he can touch them uh, when we can't, uh, when we don't know how to have the right word to say. Uh, he can knock on their heart door uh, and he can get their attention uh, and he can bring them to him uh, because uh, they will follow his voice uh, uh, when that spirit is uh, drawing them. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, uh, it's again we come to you one more time, Lord, uh, to thank you, Lord, for your word, uh, for your mercy and your love, uh, and we thank you for the word uh, that you led us to this evening, Lord, uh, and I, again I pray uh, that you bless every listener uh, and fill, let them be filled uh, with your Holy Spirit uh, and know how true your word is, uh, and they are safe uh, and secure in your hands uh, and ready to come home. Uh, I when you call their name, and I pray, O oh Lord, also for those that's lost and undone, I pray you send your drawing spirit to them one more time, then give them another opportunity before it's too late, because however we close our eyes down here is the way we will stand before you on the great judgment day, and be judged, and we pray for those that straight away, that they will come back to you uh, and join us uh, that we can labor together in the vineyard uh, Lord uh, to see sons and daughters born in uh, to your kingdom Lord uh, where they can be saved uh, and glorify you uh, forevermore uh, and Lord we pray for those who are sick uh, and afflicted in body uh, I pray Lord uh, that you heal touch deliver uh, and set free uh, but if it's not your will uh, if they're not healed down here Lord uh, I pray you make her suffering uh, and her pain easier to endure uh, and easier to bear uh, and let them be a witness uh, to those around them uh, those that see them every day uh, and then they, they can be led to you by their good deeds uh, by their love uh, that they see you have they have for you Lord uh, and I pray uh, you keep us walking on this pathway uh, uh, that is right uh, and trying to win souls uh, to you Lord uh, and pull them out of the hands uh, of Satan uh, and bring, lead them to you uh, where they can be saved. Uh, and I pray, Lord, uh, that you save someone this night uh, uh, before they sleep. Uh, because tomorrow's not promised, uh, but eternity is. Uh, and Lord, when you get through with us down here uh, and call us home, uh, we can hear you say, Boy, come home, uh, uh, my child, uh, you're now home. Uh, uh, safe with me forevermore. Uh, and then, Lord, uh, we can still aside and give you praise uh, and glory we can't give you down here uh, because we're still in the flesh uh, we're still in this body of clay uh, but then Lord uh, we'll see you as you are uh, because we'll be in the spirit uh, as you are uh, because we had to be uh, to look upon your Shekinah glory uh, and your brightness uh, of your face Lord uh, and we could not live uh, unless we were uh, in the spirit uh, because the body could not flesh uh, I could not stand uh, to look upon your Shekinah glory uh, and the spirit you'll be in uh, on that great day uh, and Lord uh, we can join the great, great band of angels uh, that to sing and praise to you today uh, for the age of old uh, and we can join uh, the loved ones uh, that's gone on before uh, that are waiting uh, for our coming uh, and Lord uh, we'll be there uh, for ages while the ages roll on uh, we won't have to be in no hurry uh, because we'll be there forevermore. Uh, I sing and giving you praise uh, and we can tell the old story uh, how we were saved by grace uh, and how you brought us through. Uh, and Lord, I pray uh, that you can help us continue walking uh, that way uh, until the day is done. Uh, these things we ask uh, in the wonderful name uh, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, and amen. Uh, and thank you, Father. Uh, one more time uh, for your love and your mercy.